Hey Collider fans, John Roca here to give you an Infinity War trailer breakdown, the latest trailer that just dropped this morning. I've been working feverishly at my desk to get everything going for you, so we're going to go frame by frame or, or scene by scene through this whole thing and give you as much information about it as possible. Now, obviously, if you don't want any spoilers, you should stop listening now. Thank you for the click. But if you're cool with the spoilers and some of the things that I might be alluding to as we go through this, then great. Strap in. Let's get to it. All right, we start out in the trailer. It is with a meteor or ship or some kind of thing coming from the sky and, of course, starting upside down, which, of course, implies that this whole world is going to be turned upside down. We get a shot of Banner with Black Widow. Hey, they're reunited. But then we see Iron Patriot. We see him there, War Machine, in his uh, outfit there, uh, which is great. And then we go back to Stephen Strange's compound, and we see this thing has been hurtling through the sky in the window reflected in his compound there, right? And Gamora's VO continues by telling us that Thanos can wipe out half the universe with the snap of his fingers. Now, that's really important because it's just like in the Infinity Gauntlet comic series, uh, the same thing happened. Thanos assembled the Infinity Gauntlet, and he did. He snapped his fingers, and half of the universe was wiped away, and it was all to try to impress Lady Death. And a lot of people are speculating Lady Death might be Hela uh, from Thor Ragnarok. We shall see. But anyway, Gamora is giving us the background of Thanos. A lot of people are talking about we needed some more background of Thanos, and it's coming here from what she's talking about. And Stark asks for his name, and of course... That's an indication there as well that a lot of the heroes don't know who Thanos is. We've had 10 years of Thanos through the movies, but a lot of the heroes haven't had any exposure to Thanos, and they're relying on Gamora and probably to a lesser extent Nebula to give them some of the background. The next shot we've been waiting for, it's that money shot. Thanos taking off the helmet and looking in all his full form. It's so powerful. Then we see Peter Parker putting on his mask. When he's on right hand school bus, we saw him in that school bus in the last trailer with the spider sense tingling. Here he is swinging through the bridges. And P uh, spider Man's someone you need to pay attention to through this whole trailer, and I'll tell you why at the end when we finish talking about it. All right, we get the shot of New York, the portal in the sky. Tony is leader of the Avengers. He starts with his dialogue, right? He's the guy. He's the tactician. He's the motivator. We've got one advantage. He's coming to us. We see him there flying uh, through the air, some kind of rocket propulsion at the bottom of his legs, which might come into play later on as they go into space. Uh, let's see. Then we get Doctor Strange. Come, we go back to Doctor Strange's compound. We see there, he right in the back, you see from the first trailer, remember the Hulk crashed through his compound, through the stairs, and we see that there, the hole in the stairs, still right behind Doctor Strange's uh, shoulders. He has the eye of a Agamotto there, moving and vibrating, and as some of you know, or most of you should know, that is another Infinity Stone, the Time Stone, just as Tony is saying, we have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use, and then we get we go right to Scarlet Witch, we get a little more of, a, of her frustration or fear for uh, Vision, who also has a stone in the middle of his head, the Mind Stone, the Yellow Mind Stone there, so she, in this relationship that's been developing over the last few films, we'll see how that's going to play out here. Next, we are going to Wakanda, of course, where we got in Black Panther, we see uh, Captain America walking up with Black Widow, being greeted by T'Challa and Okoya. But behind them, if you notice, if you pause right here behind this, behind them, you can see Falcon, you can see War Machine, you can see Banner, and you can see Vision, and you can see Scarlet Witch. So a, a, a huge contingent of the Avengers are showing up on their Quinjet here to Wakanda. Of course, it looks like they're going to be hiding out uh, Vision, and there's been so many rumors about the Soul Stone being in Wakanda, so we'll see if that plays out. Then, of course, the shot of Shuri, so great, having using that technology that she used to talk to Okoya in Black Panther, we see her using it to show Vision there uh, kind of popping off her hand, which is really intense and fun, knowing that Shuri's in this. Then we see the Guardians arriving into some kind of compound here. We don't know if it's Wakanda. We don't know where it's at. And then we get a shot to Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, with Tony Stark, with Drax, with Spider-Man, with Tom Holland, which is perfect because, of course, everyone's been waiting for the two smart asses to get together, and that's Tony Stark and Star-Lord, and having them go back and forth in front of Tom Holland's uh, smirking guy is just great. He's just getting lessons on how to be even more of a smart ass from those two guys. So it's great that we're going to get that. All right, then we go to Wakanda, and we see the flying vehicles that they have there, and the blue light looks like they're powered by vibranium, like everything else in the technology. We see Falcon flying above those uh, flying ships ships there, flying vehicles, and then to the right, we see War Machine coming into frame there as well. And then riding in one of those vehicles is Captain America in all his, like, I don't know, what do you want to say, regal look there, right, right next to the Chala and Scarlet Witch looking over. She's riding with, with Bucky. We see him there. And then the Hulkbuster shot. And we see, once again, War Machine and... Uh, um, 
Falcon flying above. Now, when you pause here, I really believe that in Hulk, I really think that's that's Banner in there. There have been shots of Banner in Wakanda in the last trailer, and I don't think that's Tony Stark in the Hulk Buster outfit, but that's me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Then we get a shot of Thor in his red cape, and we see this, this if you pause here and you look at Rocket, this is the first time we've ever seen Rocket like scared, legitimately scared. He's either being a smirking guy, he's being an a-hole, but this here, this fear, and I wonder where it comes from, I wonder what he's looking at, and I wonder if Thanos is in some way connected to his creation, just from the look on uh, Rocket's face. Then we see Thor and all his, now that he's embraced his lightning. Now, if you pause it here and you look at Thor, he's, he, if you pause it right between the lightning and his hand, you, it looks like he's holding something, but they're not showing you what he's holding. And I wonder if they're saving, uh, showing the new hammer or the new ax, the Stormbreaker, that he's going to be using in the film. We shall see. We get a shot of Groot, and then we see the ship crashing through these other ships that look to be crashed down. And then we get a flashback of Thanos. This is huge. I think this is really huge. Thanos in his full armor, walking up to a very young Gamora, and of course, we know that he wiped out her entire species. She's the last soul survivor. See her take his hand with her little hand, take his finger with, his, with her little hand and walk with him. I think it's a powerful shot. Josh Brolin has said that we we're going to get a backstory with Thanos. So I think that's going to be part of it as well. And then, we, of course, we cut right to uh, Thanos almost crushing Thor's head. And this is the money shot right here, in my opinion, the Black Order right there. We get, we get them all, if you see them surrounding Loki there from left to right, you got Proxima Midnight, you got Loki there, then you've got Ebony Maw, Cor which we're gonna, who we're gonna see a little bit later, Corvus Glaive and Cole Obsidian uh, there standing with around Loki. So this is huge. This is the Black Order intro. They're right with Thanos. It's so awesome that they're just showing them straight up here in the trailer. Then we see Thanos shattering the Tesseract to reveal the space stone we go back to shots of battles in wakanda and them attacking then we see dr strange helping star lord jump around uh, on the planet that they're fighting and move in, and fight together scarlet witch in in frustration again and then we get this incredible torture scene of dr strange look at this shot here of all these things that are torturing him it's incredible and ebony maw just shushing him which is such perfect thing if you don't know about their relationship in the comics do some research and find out it is a very complicated and unsettling relationship between ebony maw and dr strange and thanos is involved in a lot of it and thanos's son which we haven't even talked about or even referenced all right and then we get some more battle scenes in wakanda we see the hulkbuster armor getting attacked by thanos's outriders and then this line i hope they remember you. We've been hearing that they're going to kill some of the Avengers. Thanos standing there saying, I hope they remember you with Tony Stark. Huge rumors are that Tony Stark and Iron Man are going to be the first. He's going to be the first one to be killed uh, by Thanos. So this I, shot of Tony Stark with the armor barely on him. Uh, it's just incredible to think that it might be Tony Stark first. And then, of course, Thanos jumping in the air and swinging his fist. But then we cut to this awesome shot of Captain America holding off Thanos with his Infinity Gauntlet uh, uh, glove there on his hand, holding it off, but only two stones. I wonder if that matters. There's only two stones. Does it mean you know he's not as powerful, or is he just toying with him? Because when you go back to that shot of Thanos, it's almost like either he can't believe that there's a human being uh, who could actually hold him off a little bit, or he's just toying with him and he's smirking there. We don't know. Uh, but it's such a powerful shot showing the resistance of the Avengers to what Thanos wants to do, which is basically wipe out half of their existence. And of course, we get a shot of the logo, and then we move into this nice moment of levity between Spider-Man and Doctor Strange talking about their made-up names, which I think is just brilliant. I mean, that's Peter Parker perfectly to a T. And then we see the next shot is, uh, as the trailer ends is Spider-Man hurtling through this wreckage with his webs, just shooting all around, riding his webs through the whole wreckage to get you an idea of what's happening. And that's how the trailer ends. See, and the reason I brought up Spider-Man at the beginning of this breakdown is I think if there are going to be deaths here, I wonder if the new, I wonder if the Avengers that are going to be left standing are going to be called the new Avengers. Those of you who studied the comics, you know the new Avengers are a big deal. They've been constructed for numerous reasons. Uh, so we'll see who is left standing and who is not left standing at the end of this movie. It's really incredible. And we don't see all the stones here either. We don't see the red stone. Uh, we don't know, where, you know, I think the collector has that one. So we don't know how that's going to come into play. We don't see the soul stone. So there's a lot still to come, I think, in the second part of Avengers Infinity War. But for this trailer, we got a lot of Thanos. We got a lot of, of, of shots of the stones 
Thrones. We understand we got the Black Order. We see the how the teams are going to shape up, and we see the desperation and seriousness of this situation. We still get the moments of levity because it is Marvel, it is Avengers, but very much powerful, powerful uh, stuff and dark stuff is going to happen in this film. So thanks everyone for listening and watching this breakdown. Really appreciate it. Leave your comments down in the comment section, but let me know if I missed something or let me know if, if you, if it, it sparked some excitement in you to go look something up, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, also remember to like and share this video and go to collider.com. If you want more coverage of what's happening uh, in this trailer and what's happening behind the scenes, they, they interviewed a bunch of the uh, actors on set. So read a lot of that coverage and see if it gets you even more excited for the film and remember to like and share this video on your social media and to pay attention for more videos coming from Collider Video.